Hello. We are here for part 16. And do you know what that means? We are about to take on the last trainer in Johto. The champion of this bitch. And we are about to demolish him. Because not really, I think we're going to lose. But, but, I don't think we'll lose everyone. Just look at the bright side, that's what we got to do. So, let's get amped up, we got to run back and forth, we got to run back and forth, get the blood flowing, and now, ah, we about to take him on, let's go! Damn. This is an intense room, we got Dragonair statues everywhere, this red carpet leading me up to him. Hot oh, damn. I've been waiting for you. Sandy, I knew that. You, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the power Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Do, 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 Oh, God. Does he lead the Aragos? Yep. Just as I suspected. Nonetheless, this is still going to be very frightening. Alright, we're going to have to glare him. Alright, nice to miss. Perfect. Rain dance. <sighs> At least Gyarados has pretty bad special attacks, so if he uses any water moves, they won't do severe damage. Even though with rain dance, that's not, rain dance being up, that's not going to help. Oh, it didn't do half. Come on. How much is this surf gonna do? Nice and over half. Alright, come on. Paraflinch. I just need one paraflinch, that's all I'm asking for. Come on. Yes! Perfect. Sludge bomb. Nice, alright, we got Gyarados out of the way. It's gonna be a tough battle, guys. This is only be the beginning. Gyarados is a piece of cake compared to. Oh, this guy. Is this his powerful one? Okay, this isn't his most powerful one, but let's see if we can glare him. Nice! Glares miss once, I love it. Oh god. Well. Peace, Tanga. Yep, Tanga number two just died, so. Um <coughs> Let's go out to Betsy, because she has never melt ice. And you have to recharge, so... Okay, let's go with Ice Punch, obviously. This be a one-hit KO, never melt ice, I wonder. Nice, beautiful. That's what I like to see. Killing bitches left and right with Ice Punch. It's coming out now. Charizard, fuck. Alright, this might be the one thing we can get Scumbag in on a safe switch. Which is what I've been waiting for, because Scumbag can wreck some shit with Ice Punch. Flamethrower's not going to do too much, because I resist it, obviously. Um, oh damn. Did more than I thought. Oh, I'll surf him. Alright. Should do over half, obviously. Ooh, almost kill. Powerful. Alright, don't get a crit. And you get a crit. Nice, nice. Alright, I'm gonna use a Hyper Potion. Oh, I don't use that rare candy. No matter. I still have enough power! Hyper Beam, yes. Beautiful. Now I can take him out at full health. Who's it? Oh, Betsy. I was gonna say, those don't look like scumbag stats at all. What's he sending out now? Dragonite, oh my lord. So powerful. Oh god, does this thing have thunder? I think this thing has thunder. Um, shit. Well, it could have blizzard too, so I can't risk going to Loretta. Um, McDirty can't do anything. Betsy can't take two thunders, and Zack. Alright. Gonna have to... Come on, get a crit. Get a crit or something. Get a crit or something. You can do it. Get a crit. Crit, 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 crit. Damn it! Come on, don't kill me with thunder. Oh, thunder wave, thank Jesus. Whew. 
hyper beam shouldn't kill me. Unless I get the crit, but it didn't. Ice punch took you out, bitch. 047, that's what I like to see. Man, you have a tankish defenses. Screech, nah. Screech is not wanted here, unfortunately. Alright, he's down to two. One last Dragonite. Then he has an Aerodactyl, I believe. This thing might have Thunder, so I'm gonna use a Full Restore. Oh, okay, Safeguard. I think he's just gonna use Outrage after this. I can't believe I'm outspeeding this thing at level 47. I know Dragonites aren't that fast, but I thought they'd be faster than Frowligator. Oh god, Outrage. Don't kill. Please don't kill. Oh, thank god. Alright, take you out with an Ice Punch. Now he sent out his last Pokemon, Narodactyl. Okay, um... I think I'm just going to Hyper Potion up for good measure, just in case. Rock Slide missed! Perfect! Wing Attack. Yeah, it's not going to do all too much. And are we going to take you out with one Surf? I think we can. Because Aerodactyl doesn't have the best def uh, special defense. Yep, critical hit too, <laughs> yes. I love it. <coughs> and we just took out the motherfucking champion. Holy shit, it's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. <sighs> yeah, I gotta admit, guys, I thought we were gonna lose everyone there except Betsy and Scumbag. I thought we were gonna, they were gonna outspeed Betsy and Scumbag a ton, so I was gonna have to keep switching in for Death Fodder. But the only fodder I had to use was Tanga. <laughs> I apologize to Tanga in advance. I had to use him as death fodder twice. Actually, the first one wasn't death fodder. I was just unnecessary, not paying attention. But, my god, we beat the champion. And this would be the end of the uh, the playthrough right here. But, as you all know, Johto is the one region with 16 badges. Because we have to go back to Kanto. So, uh, let's keep on going. See what Lance has to say. Whew. You have become truly powerful, Sandy. Your Pokemon have responded to your s strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. Thank you, man. Oh, damn. Who's this bitch? Oh, no. It's all over. Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow. Ah, Sandy. It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the Wii is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding, too. Because they believed in you as a trainer, they per they persevered. Congratulations, Sandy. Thanks, Prof Oak. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Sandy, could you come with me? Gladly. Anything to get me away from this bitch? Oh, wait. We haven't done the interview. Yeah, that's the point, you dumb whore. <coughs> oh, I like the tiling. Nice job, Lance. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we honor the League, champions for all of eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today we witness the rise of a new League champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokemon, a trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination, the new League champion who has all the makings of greatness. Sandy, allow me to register your, you and your partners as champions. I never thought this day would come. I thought I was going to lose to Lance. I don't know why I thought I was going to lose to Lance, though, because Frowligator's a freaking animal in the Elite Four in this generation. There's the one the one member who didn't make it out of the Elite Four alive. Don't worry, Tanga, you served a purpose. There's Pidgeot, my first capture of this playthrough. The exact Pokemon I wanted. <coughs> now we got that whore Betsy. I could always rely on Jinx for some power with the Ice Punch and Confusion. There's McDirty. I don't think I used McDirty once in the Elite Four, but he's going to be powerful real soon. There's our tank, Loretta. I wasn't even sure I was going to use her, but she came through clutch in this playthrough a few times. And there's where it all started. Scumbag the Fraligator. And here's this big threat, Sandy. 178 Pokemon seen, 39 caught.
Professor Oak trading. You need to fill up that Pokedex. Catch different kinds of Pokemon. Fuck you, Professor Oak. I just beat the Elite Four, and you can't even say anything good. And here go this, the uh, credits here. Oh, damn, those credits were fast. Did I just click A? Those credits were nothing. And we're back at the title screen. So let's keep this playthrough going, guys. I'm not stopping here. Oh, we got a call. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. I can, my friend. So let's see what you're up to here, Professor Oak. Or, not Oak, Elm. Sandy, there you are. I called because I have something for you. See? It's an SS ticket. Now you can catch Pokemon in Kanto. Got the SS ticket and the key items pocket. The ship departs from Olivine City. Well, you knew that already, Sandy. After all, you've traveled all over with your Pokemon. Give me, give my regards to Professor Oak and Kanto. Will do, bro, will do. So now... Oh, I gotta put Tang in the box. It's a sad day, for Tang is everywhere. Alright. Sorry, bro. Gotta throw you in the box, man. Now... Um... No, you know what? We'll catch a uh, Pokemon Kanto. Yeah, we'll catch Pokemon Kanto and place it in our party. Alright, let's head to Olivine. The Olivine <coughs> port, or whatever. And here we go. Welcome to the fast ship SS Aqua. Will you be boarding today? Indeed I will. Flash SS ticket? That's it, thank you. And we are on board. We're departing soon, please get on board. The hell? That was a weird looking boat. It had like two penises jutting off the front of it. And now it's an on or Oh, damn! This guy's tackling me and shit? Whoa. Excuse me, I was in a hurry. My granddaughter's missing. She's just a wee girl. If you see her, please let me know. I will. Let's check out. Is this my room? Nope, can't sleep in it. <coughs> Let's check out all these rooms, see if there's anything interesting going on. Um. I feel like there should be leftovers in one of these containers somewhere. Are you alone? Then let's battle. Oh, that's creepy. Why does it matter if I'm alone? What if I wasn't? Would he not battle me? God oh, damn it. Gotta get out of here. Um, dirty. Oh! No! Oh so my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Dirty whores! You're really just gonna fucking critical hit on me right there? That is fucking bullshit. Oh my god, I wasted so much time and effort. Oh my gosh. Fuck you, dude. I completely forgot this was a Nuzlocke for a second. Just because I was on a high cloud nine for beating the champion. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god, look at that. So much money and TMs wasted on you. And now you're fucking dead. That is bullshit. Oh my god. I cannot be more fucking angry right now. Oh my god. Well, it looks like we're catching two new Pokemon in the Kanto region. <sighs> that is... Oh. I can't even get over how angry that makes me. A level 33 golem crits me with self-destruct. If it crit me with any other move, I wouldn't have died. But just because it was self-freaking destruct, I died. Oh my god. There aren't even that good Pokemon to catch in Kanto either. Hopefully I can get lucky as hell and catch like a Hound Hour or something. That would be beautiful. <coughs> oh my god. That just completely deflated me off my Cloud 9 from taking out the champion, I'll tell you that much. And now I'm back to where I was before. And I'll just destroy this Stella Bird. Take on these two little bitches. Finish them off. Maybe, should I use. No, I can't use Fanfy because I still have Loretta. Or I don't have a Fanfy, I have a. Whatchamacallit? Um, Dawn Fan. <coughs> but, you know, same difference. Alright, and this is the guy who's looking for his granddaughter, so we have to go find that little whore. She's whoring it off somewhere while her grandpa's waiting waitin sick for her. That's fucked, I shouldn't say that. She's, like, two years old. But, um... 
Who do we have to... I forget what room that guy's in. Is he in this room, maybe? Yes, he is, actually. Yeah, I'm a sailor, alright. I wasn't goofing off. This cabin was vacant, so I just took a quick nap. Ah, oh, I for, oh, forget it. Let's battle. Yeah, you're gonna be the victim of my anger. I'm just gonna unleash hell upon your Pokemon. <coughs> I never thought I'd be so pissed off after winning the championship after Nuzlocke, but... <coughs> only the Johto region would have Pokemon dying after the Elite Four matter. What is this guy doing? Is he gonna battle me? Urf, I'm seasick. You are. How can you battle if you're seasick? <coughs> That's a good question. Um, so we'll just take out all those little bitches. Take on this guy. Fly it. <coughs> Zach's level 48. Take you out. Who's going in the front now? Loretta, I guess. Why the hell not? Is this your little girl? I'm so bored. Nope, that's not your little girl. Take out an earthquake. <coughs> Why am I coughing so much? Ah! I could kill somebody. And on top of everything, I have a six page research paper that I'm putting aside to do this, because I like doing this better, obviously. But, Captain, play with me, please. I'm bored. I want to play more. Hi, will you play with me? Oh, Grandpa's worried about me? I have to go. I have to go find Grandpa. There you go, dude. Take your little fucking whore of a grandkid. Grandpa, here I am. I was playing with the captain and this guy. Sandy, was it? I heard you enter to entertain my granddaughter. <coughs> I want to thank you for that. I know, I'd like you to have this metal coat. That's useless. Fast ship SS Aqua has arrived in Vermilion City. How about you give me a goddamn revive so I can bring back my McDirty back to life, you motherfucker? <sighs> can I leave now? Yep, arrive in Vermilion City. So this is our first steps into the actual, like, map area of Kanto. <coughs> What's up? The fast ship sails on Wednesdays and Sundays every week. Oh yeah, I can't even, like, go back for a while. Or actually, today's Sunday, so I can, but... Ooh, what do we got here? A big-ass mofo. Someone likes to soaring peacefully. <coughs> Skilled trainers gather in Kanto. Gym leaders are especially strong. They won't be easy to defeat. True that, son. Alright, we're gonna go get our capture for this route. A Granbull? That's pretty cool. <coughs> um, I'll use Mud Slap, that won't kill it. Oh my god, I fucking used Fly! <sighs> miss, miss. No, nope. and we take out the mother. Fucking Granbull. Gotta love misclicking. So there goes that capture. Alright, I wanna capture a goddamn Pokemon, so. <coughs> we'll go over here. Towards Lavender Town. Oh, we gotta take on this guy. Um. Ice Punch. Ice Punch. Ice Punch. Ice Punch. <coughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna. Alright guys, sorry about that cut right there, I just had to go uh, help my mom bring some groceries. And to get a Pokemon on this route, we need to go get cut. So, I shall go get cut. And you know, I couldn't, <coughs> couldn't end the episode on that note in the raging format. I'm a little bit better, because uh, my mom just brought me home a donut, so you know. Donuts are always good. You can't go wrong with a donut, I'll tell you that much. And, uh, who knows cut? Who knows cut? This bell sprout knows cut. So, hopefully, we will get something we can use and is not shitty as fuck. Like, even that gramble is pretty shitty, but I would have used it. Abra, really? <coughs> That's very annoying. Can I capture it in a great ball? Yep. Um, should we name this guy? A male Abra. Um. Ah, this this will be Tanga v V3. Tanga V3. Always gonna have Tang in your party. <laughs> Shout out to Tanga for the third time. What else could I have gotten here? Abra. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Pidgeotto, Growlithe, 
Snubble, Pidgeotto, Snubble are pretty terrible things, so I guess Abra's <coughs> one of the better things I could have gotten out of here. Um, whoops, what other areas could I go get new Pokemon at? Um, throw Bellsprout back in there. Let's go to Celadon. Can I, can you buy Pokemon at Celadon, actually? At the Celadon, like, coin place? I just remembered that. Um, welcome, blah blah blah. TMs, Pikachu, Porygon, and Larvitar. Hmm. That's an interesting proposition, my friend. I could grab a Pikachu. Will I? Probably not. I don't even want to use this Abra. Why did I name it Tanga? <coughs> Just gonna throw Abra in the PC because I don't want to use it very much. Yep, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Okay, I'm just trying to think in my mind of other places I could go grab some new Pokemon. I mean, I could go right here, but I want to get a Houndow or a Murkrow or something, so I have to wait until nighttime. So, um, hmm. Actually, what time does it say it is in game? I can't check from here, I don't think. Oh, no, you check from the Poke Gear. 2.28 p.m. So if I super speed, what does that do? Um, now we check Poke Gear. 2.28 p.m., what? I feel like it should go faster than that, since I'm super speeding, but... Sell it on Mansion. Ooh, do they have TMs in here, actually? Let's check. I, I'm not positive. I want to say they don't in this game for some reason. Oh, maybe they do. I hope so. Nope. How about you? Nope. One more floor, maybe? Nope. Oh, that sucks. TMs. Bible TMs are always welcome in my book. Do you randomly have them? No. Damn, I wish somebody did. That would be joyful. Um, Alright, let me go to the west down here. Oopsies. Oh my god, I need cut again. Why do you need cut for everything in the Kanto region? God damn it! Oh, I need to switch back here! Okay, grab Bell Sprout. Damn it. What do you have to say? You look suspicious. Team Rocket's hideout is in the basement of the game corner. Oh wait, that was three years ago. Ah, a little precursor knowledge there. But we already knew that. Well, I did, but... Alright, what do we got here? Grimer? Oh, Grimer's not too bad. Double... will double kick kill it? I feel like double kick will kill it. Um, let's go out to Bellsprout. Cut it. Put it to sleep. Come on, get in a Pokeball. Get in a Pokeball! Get in a Pokeball! Get in a Pokeball! Get in a Pokeball! Damn it. Stop it! Stop doing things. Can this thing even attack me? Oh, it can. <laughs> uh, you have Sing. Oh my god, Sing was disabled. I hate everything about everything. No, I'm going to waste every single... There! Damn it! <laughs> When two of these Pokemon's bodies are combined together, new poisons are created. Oh, that's an interesting thing. What should I name a Grimer? Um, <sighs> I have no idea. Um, what should I name a Grimer? Grimer, Grimer, Grimer. Male Grimer. No. Hmm, it's a toughie. It's a toughie. I'll be right back with a nickname. All right, <coughs> we got a name. We got Cumshot the Grimer here. Clearly, he had to be named Cumshot. I mean, look at look at the sprite. Look at it. Ooh, Alan Schoolboy. Ooh, picked up something nice. Oh my God, if that's a Firestone. I'm using that fucking Growlithe. Holy shit! All right, I gotta fly back to Vermilion. Get the hail on that SS Aqua, or whatever the hell it's called. It, oh my god, if he doesn't let me back on it. 
I'm gonna go ape shit. Can I please? <gasps> okay. I'm going to go off screen and I will flash back when I'm back in Johto. BRB. Alright, I'm here with friggin' Alan Schoolboy, and if I swear to God, if he doesn't give me a Firestone, someone's gonna die. Thank you. Thank you. God damn. We got ourselves a Firestone, finally. So, and I just realized while I was off screen that Bellsprout died, so. <laughs> can't use Bellsprout anymore. But, um, we're gonna end the episode here, actually. And I'm going to throw bell sprout in there and finally take out waldo the growlith so when we come back um actually i have to um i'm gonna grind up cum shot until he's a muck and i'll show you him evolving that all in the episode so brb oh here's uh grimer evolving into muck here sorry i didn't catch the beginning of it but I thought it evolved level 37, so it's so actually level 38, and then I thought it evolved to like level 40 or something, but here we go. Our cum shot evolved into a pile of cum. Poisonous cum at that. Alright, so I'm going to cut the episode here, and next episode we will have a very high-leveled Muck and a very high-leveled Growlithe, which on camera I will then evolve into Arcanine because it doesn't learn any moves once it evolves into Arcanine. So, rate, comment, sub, and all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.